Hello everybody. I want to show you how to do something really simple that can make your video look uh, a lot more professional. I'm going to add this little logo in the corner. This logo could be any picture that you want to add as an overlay on a recording you do. This is something you do just one time for the recording you're going to do. You can change it however often you like. I'm going to show you how to grab our school logo and then put that onto your video. This would work for, for any picture that you might have though. I just want to hop back to my desktop and I've got a shortcut here on where, where all of our logos are, are kept. If you go out to uh, that URL, you're going to get to this page and you can see there are five different versions of our logo that are out there. The one that's not showing up is an SVG. That's a scalable vector graphic. That, that one's actually, uh, it's not a bitmap, it's a vector image. So you can make that any size and it would look really great. I'm going to download this one that has a white outline. So I just click the little download. And I've already downloaded this right here on my desktop. To make it easy to get to, there's what it looks like. And I'm going to go back into OBS. So I've already pinned it to my start button. There it is. One thing you're going to notice is OBS is just the way that I left it. So in the first video, I showed you how you can add your camera and adjust the resolution. It's exactly that way. What I'm going to do now is add something to it, and then next time I come into OBS, that's going to be there too. So I'm going to add an image. So I click on the plus, click on image. I'm going to call this logo. And then I'm going to browse out to my desktop because that's where I saved it and I'm going to select that logo. There's what it looks like. I click OK, and now I have this gigantic thing covering up my video. So like I did before when I resized my camera, I'm going to right click, transform, fit to screen, makes it a little more manageable, but notice I can see the handles now. So now I can grab a corner and I can shrink this down just to the size I want. Now you can see I've got that logo in the corner of my video, and anytime I make a recording, that's going to show up. So if I close OBS, let me go ahead and do that, and come back later and open OBS. Now along with my video camera, I'm also going to have my little logo. Next I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint to create a very professional-looking interactive uh, uh, OBS overlay that you can use for kind of advanced things.